everyone, how are you? I hope wherever you are in the world you're having a fantastic day so far. Well today we're actually going to do something different. Today we're going to do a get ready with me and we're going to start off first with my skincare routine. Um, usually my skincare routines are simple, um, yeah, usually they're, like they're always nearly always simple. So I usually start off with a cleansing water, then move on to a toner and a, like a serum. Um, then a face cream okay so um, <laughs> let's just hop right on into it for my um, cleansing it's like basically a micellar I've been using this um, Son and Park beauty water as a micellar because the first time I tried it out I actually used it as a toner and that was totally wrong the wrong thing to do because it actually broke me out with using it as a toner but as a beauty um, water as a micellar it's fantastic so we're going to start off with this and I've got my um, AOA studio little reusable pad what do you call these like cotton they're not cotton are they I don't know but they're reusable so very eco-friendly and I just put some on there make sure it's all nice and it's just what it does it just um, yeah just cleanses the face because I don't want to do a full routine where I'm like washing my face and all that yeah sometimes I do but for sake of the video I'm not gonna do that today and this stuff is fantastic and so are these because I'll show you and it smells great it smells so nice too this stuff not sure if you can see do you see that dirty yeah, that is um, all the dead stuff off my face. I'll get a mirror in a minute. And for mirror, I'm going to be using my AOA Studio. Um, just a Paw Charity mirror. Okay. That. Put the lid back on this. Okay, and as I use products, they're going over here. So to free up some space here. Okay, and then after this micellar, I give it like a spraying toner. I'm using um, Revolution Skincare London. They have a makeup line and the skincare as well. Makeup's not as not so great, but the skincare's pretty good. It's um, a limited edition, I think. Tropical Quench Essence Spray. Now this actually smells like coconut and pineapple and it's actually really nice. And then just rub that in. Over there you go. Now after serum, oh sorry. Spray, tining spray comes a sheet mask and this is the AOA Skin Niacinamide 2% Plus Seeker 7 Calming Complex and I usually only I usually leave these on for around 10 minutes oh lordy got it's, <laughs> it's just like stuff spurting out of the packet And I normally don't do this in front of other people either. I And keep your essence, people. This is great for your um, arms and legs. You know me? What's my motto? Waste not, want not. So I always keep um, stuff that can be used. I, I will use it. Okay, how do we open you? Oh, yes. Now I might just scoot back a bit because this, I feel, might just drip all over the place. I do not want this going on my desk. And some of these do not, this ain't probably not gonna fit my face. It's got a sort of a minty scent, this one. Okay, on the arms, oh yes. Why well, it's not, or not. And I will be back in 10 minutes because you did not want to see me for a whole 10 minutes just while I chill out with a face mask on. <laughs> 
Alrighty, we're back. I'm just going to take this off now. Mm, massage that in. There's a very strong scent of mint in this one. Sometimes um, there can be too much essence on a mask, but this one doesn't feel too bad. Take the towels with me. That's not bad. Some masks though, they'll make me feel oily because natu I naturally have oilier skin. So let's see. All right, so we've done the sheet mask and now next, I'm, this is actually the first time I'm trying this. It is the Mary Grace Bulgarian Rose Otto Essential Face Elixir. Now this is more, This looks more like an oil to me. Beautiful packaging. Okay. Smells like uh, rose too. One, two, three, four, maybe five. Five drop foots of that. Just to put on the face. Now, now that's done I'm going actually first of all I'll add this face cream this is the AOA skin squalane 100,000 ppm barrier cream which hydrates and replenishes the skin going to add about just a little bit a little bit goes a long way of this Now, I was going to add some of my um, sun butter sunscreen, but I'm not sure if I will because sometimes if you add too much, like I've got my primer to go, I might just go straight on in with my primer because if I have too much product on, it can actually shift around my foundation on my face, which I don't want. I, I love using um, this, by the way. They, um, sun butter actually sent me this, um, for free to test out so and it's been really good it's um, got zero toxins so um, it's actually great for our skin and also doesn't harm the ocean because a lot of sunscreens contain a lot of nasties that you know kills the fish and other stuff other marine life okay now on to the Steeler one step prime and I actually got this in a was a mystery box I think from Mecca Maybe one pump. Oh yeah, I think one pump will be quite sufficient. This is very moisturizing. Mm. Very moisturizing, very hydrating. Okay. Now, oh, and I forgot my makeup sponge. Mm, be right back. Okay, we are back. Um, the sponge I'm going to be using is the Paw Paw Beauty, Beauty Sponge, Beauty Blender that I got on Shop Miss A. I think these are like $1.55. And my foundation today, I'm going to be using the um, Dior Forever Skin Glow. Yeah, I just forgot the thought then, you know, did I put my primer on my like, Yes, I did.
might just go in with a little bit more. And I'm sorry if I make any weird faces when I'm doing my makeup, especially that'll come up when I do my eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah, so I apologize in advance. Okay. I've got an itchy nose, so I'll be right back. We are back. The foundation is on. I don't like to, like, that for my complexion was quite enough, I, I feel. Um, hmm. I don't feel like using concealer because it's in the other room. So, yeah, I'm going to go without concealer today. Couldn't be asked to go and um, put some to get it. <laughs> hate that when you get um, product on your lips. And it messes with the lip lining on your lips as well. Right. Okay. Just going to put you over there. Um, I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'll just do my, maybe my eyes first. Now, I've got a couple of K-Beauty brands here. This one is what's that? a Tude House Fantastic Color Eyes, the Strawberry Fondue Palette. I've had this, look at the ganky mirror. I've had this for ages. But if you can see that. And I've also got this Crystal Heart Lock Shadow by a Korean company called Black Rouge. Oh, so pretty. What's up? Uh, well, what goes with my outfit today is this color story here. I mean, that has some browns in there as well. But I feel this one. Mm. On judging by what I'm wearing, it's the one by Black Rouge. So, we will start off with the eyes. Now, ah, oh, yes. I got this, um, these new brushes. I haven't used them yet. But I feel that, yeah, you know, I'll just use them today. They are by Morphe, a collaboration between Morphe and Jafar. If you don't know, Jafar is now the name of Jeffree Star. You know, that villain out of um, Aladdin? Yes, Jafar. I thought that was um, quite appropriate, actually. Um, who's, who, who said that? Uh, John Cookian. I watch him. He's fantastic. Okay, well, I don't even know which one to start with. Let me see. I usually go in first with the mattes. This brush, maybe? Yeah. I probably won't do my eyebrows today because the brow stuff is in the other room along with my um, concealer. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I'm just gonna have a little play around with this. I might go into with this. I wonder how it like have I even swatched this? I don't oh. That's very, very dark. Very, very dark. We'll just have a little <laughs> play, a little play around with that. And it basically Blends out to nothing. <laughs> okay, come here. No, it's definitely there. It's like I can see that. Can you see that? 
Ah, why am I blowing up? I've got this. It's um, um, what do you call it? Brush cleansing sponge type of a thing. And it's not cleaning it. Look, hasn't cleaned at all. Mmm. But, yes, that will do that one. Either the shadow that shit, or <laughs> it's the brush. Because that eye is definitely way darker than this one. Like, I'm basic as when it comes to my makeup. Does that look like I got a black eye? <laughs> oh dear. No. Oh, I almost forgot again. Okay, I'm gonna go into this lighter shade to try and tone that down. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've got some in the, where I don't want it. Thank you. I wish I had like a professional camera and stuff, but unfortunately I do not. And I have a phone that I use. It's an iPhone 8 Plus, I think it's called. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go in with a shimmer now, which is this beauty right here. <laughs> On the lid. Just with my finger. You know what else I haven't got? <laughs> Mascara. <laughs> oh, I just realised. I'm going to have to pause this in a minute. <laughs> Maybe go and get with other stuff. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> well, this is how I usually am, like, when I'm doing my makeup. I'll forget stuff. Whoop. I'll forget stuff and be like, where is it? Pardon the faces if I'm pulling any. That's actually awkward. I'm going to go with this finger instead. <laughs> I'm getting under the eyes. <laughs> okay. You'll just... Whip it like that off. Hmm. That's why you need concealer for all of this. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I ended up getting this sample size of the NARS Climax Extreme and the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer by the Paw Paw Charity. Um, I got this, I couldn't find the other ones that I have. Which is a shame. I prefer ones with a doe foot um, applicator on it, but. Oh, that's better. Actually, no. No, it's not. It sort of made. Oh, well, it's giving me a little under glow. I'll probably see if I can do the same on the other side. Oh, what brushes are in here? Do we have a concealer brush or something that I can use? Like a sponge? No, nothing. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Let me see. put some there. I'll just work that into the under eye area. Right, now, yeah. back on that. Oh, God, I get itchy, yeah, especially around the nose when I'm doing makeup. Now, I'll go back out into this, to that palette. 
just. Oh. You know what? I'm over. I'm. I'm done with the eyeshadow. Done with it. Okay. I want to get on to add some other stuff. So, I'm just clean that brush off in there. Put that back in there. Now. I'm just realizing. <laughs> I forgot my blush as well. <sighs> Be right back. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm such a goose. It's in here. It's my hourglass, um, what's it called? Ambient lighting edit so sculpture palette. Hardly ever use this. That's what it looks like. Very, very nice. That's the blush there. And these are highlight highlighters at the top. But I'm not sure if I want to use any of the highlighters. I might use one of the uh, like the overall face powders, which is the dim light. I'll be using this, I feel, as the setting. I might do that first, actually. I'm going to use my... Um, and that's why I don't like size of all these individual things and the, br the brush is huge mm. I wonder if that's even doing anything at all <sighs> I feel like it's not Back of that. Use this instead. Wrong brush, but <laughs> over that big one, I tell you. <laughs> that'll do that'll do okay hmm. now I don't usually use bronzer at all like I ever but I do have this butter bronzer by what they call physician's formula and I want to try it out the only problem is I don't want to feel like I've got this gigantic war paint stripped down the sides of my face so I will try this brush this is by Carla. I've got the Sean Shop Miss A. About there. <laughs> well, I've never tried. Never, ever. Never had the need for this, but I thought I'd get some to try. It smells like coconut too, by the way, so if you like, smell coconut. Does that look ridiculous? <laughs> Okay, that looks ridiculous. That, mm, that doesn't look, that just looks like a buddy, a bruise. That, that's what that looks like. Right, we're going to fix that shit right away. Still looks like a bruise. Oh my God, get out of there. Maybe that was the wrong brush. Oh, my nose is itchy. Just a little dab in there. Just blend that out, maybe. Oh, that just looks ridiculous. Um, to be honest, bronzers are overrated. Or would that a bronzer? Yeah, it's a bronzer. Bronzers are bloody overrated. Mm -mm. 
I don't get. I, I honestly do not get why people will use a bronzer on their forehead. I've tried some on my neck once and it just looked ridiculous. It looked like a, like a black line under my neck. So anyway, yeah, that's my final thoughts on bronzer. Not using that. Okay, what are uh, blush. Blush, blush, blush. Back to the Hourglass palette. So I'm gonna use this one here. Use this wrong brush. Keep getting the wrong bloody thing out. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's got a bit, of, a bit of fluff on it. I haven't used that one in a while, so we'll just see how this goes. Put a bit more there. Not bad. Cover my nose. Oh, it's, that's how. That's why I hardly ever do makeup much. Um, it's because of how itchy my nose gets. Okay, just try and blend that in. I'll just fix this side up because it looks oh. down there it just looks a bit okay oh, nice just gonna yeah wipe half my ma nose makeup off <laughs> I think it was that powder, it's just that um, hourglass going all over my face. But that is the blush. Now we've got highlighter here as well. It wouldn't be makeup without the highlighter. We've got this um, Ofra midi palette called Feeling Myself. And I'm thinking I'm thinking the middle one, which is called Pillow Talk, I believe. Yeah, Pillow Talk. Okay. We're just going to use this little fan brush. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, you almost forgot. I can't forget the nose. I don't do. Okay, put that back over there. Now, there it is. I'm going to do my lips. I'm not going to line my lips. Um, I'm going to be using this Etude House. I actually forgot what type of lipstick this is, but on the packaging it's got like these see cloud little mind my monkey nails yes i do buy my nails just ignore those <laughs> um yeah so and it's in this uh pink shade very pink shade
So that is that. And that is my overall makeup. Oh, I've got my mascara. Now prepare for the weird faces, people. <laughs> I hate anything coming at my eyes. Oh. Can you see? They're not bad. See, look at the difference. Mm. It's supposed to look like a tomato. Oh. I can hear birds out, out there, like they're in the house. It must be mum watching television. This is clumping on the lower lashes. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the. Ugh. Mm -mm. Can't you just like. Ugh. Yuck. If I had my choice, I probably wouldn't use this um, again. I was just testing this one out. The NARS Climax Extreme. It clumps on the lower lashes. Okay, and that is my makeup look done for today. So if you've um, stuck with me until now, thank you very much. Um, if you've liked the video, uh, yeah, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription if you haven't already. Okay, that's... Um, all for this uh, video I do have some other videos coming up very soon okay take care of yourselves at each other bye